as you know, one particular lady who we're both big fans of, Mirko Kamiya, who I like to think of as the mother of Ikigai, was this amazing research pioneer. And I know you have read her book, Ikigai Needs to Eat yes. Would you like to touch on her and your thoughts of her? And do you think she gets enough recognition in Japan? I say no. Mm-hmm. I think her, her work was, I'm not sure if I'm using a too strong word, but I think it was revolutionary at the time. Yeah. I mean, I was awed by the, the content that she captured in her book, and it was published, I believe, in 1966. Yeah. So it's, it's what is it, more, is it more than 50 years now ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of those, you know, the, the, the characteristics and descriptions that the, she gave, starting with the fact that I think she's the one who coined the term Ikigai Kan, yeah, I believe, yeah. right? And, and that is the title of your book, too. Yeah. And yet, the, the, her name does not come up too much. I mean, and going back to the search discussion earlier, when you search Ikigai, right, it's, again, it's, I know it is biased towards the English language, if you type in the Ikigai in Romaji, right? Mm. Uh, even when I typed it in, in Japanese, I noticed that the, the her book and article does not come towards the top. So yeah. that means the popularity isn't still there. I was just going to say it's unfortunate because she really predates the positive psychology movement by yes thirty five years and right um, it's but she a... was already having the idea at yeah. that time yeah it's, it's a male dominated I guess area of research so few women get recognised as much as men and yeah she really does predate the positive psychology movement and yeah, no one knows about it even in japan so it's crazy yeah i agree speaking of you know mother of ikigai or this uh, uh you know male dominated nature of the world right this could be a si- little bit of a sideline here that's right but i think japan does have even though you know japan's also known for not doing great in terms of again e- giving e- equal rights to women at the same time, culturally and historically, there are leaders, women leaders in the history. And you probably know about Himiko, right? It's like way back when that uh, Japan was ruled by a uh, woman leader. Okay. Also, in the recent years, and this is how I grew up, and actually my probably kids are impacted by it, is what's famous is like the, the movies uh, made by Ghibli and Hayao Miyazaki. And I think everybody knows or recognizes that the protagonists in his movies are typically women. Yes. And there are stories about, you know, why that is and so on and so forth. So there is this respect towards like strong women in our culture. And yet it hasn't really become like a prime time or has been showcased as much. Yeah. And and a similar thing I do I did observe here in this space. 